So, it's been quite a while since I've done any kind of video on Big Firebird's Nicey. The last video I did on her was announcing her price and release date. But obviously the release date has changed since then, because she was originally supposed to be released back in April, but clearly she was delayed due to outside circumstances that we are all still dealing with. But now she has a new release date, and it will be September 5th. So she's coming out very soon. We basically just have another week to wait and hopefully she'll start shipping. And with the announcement of her revised release date, Big Firebird Toys has provided us with some new images of Nice C. First up is one of her with her sword and shield, looking very cool in kind of a casual pose. Then we have another shot of her again with her sword and shield, but this time she has her backpack pieces up in this kind of dynamic angle. She looks like she's rushing at you, like this is her speed mode or something. And she's either about to bash you with her shield or run you through with her sword. Again, very cool looking. I'm guessing they used a stand for this one, but it looks like they photoshopped it out. The third one we have here is her with her backpack pieces now down by her hips in this kind of elegant feminine pose. She almost looks like she's trying to mimic the silhouette of one of those big puffy Disney princess dresses. I believe in this configuration her car parts can be used as sheets for her swords, if I recall correctly. Next we have just a static shot of Nicey with her feet on the ground, but without those backpack pieces that were mentioned previously. She looks great, and this is definitely an option worth considering displaying her in. We then have another shot of her that feels like a follow up to the previous one because now she's holding her backpack as a huge bow. She's even holding an arrow too. So if the kind of knight like Nicey look isn't your thing, maybe this kind of Energon RC inspired configuration is. Then we have a shot of her from behind. She's got a lot going on back there, but I think she pulls it off well. And finally, we got a couple shots of her in vehicle mode. First is a straight on shot. I love the extra design detail that Big Firebird put into her over the usual RC alt modes we see. She almost looks like she has a manta ray face as the front of her car mode. If Big Firebird wanted to repaint her as, say, Depth Charge's little sister or something, I think they could pull it off. And lastly, we have a shot of her in car mode from the side. And like many RC figures, you can see where everything goes here. Especially the legs. But I think she still looks fantastic. So that was last week. This week, they let us in on what will be in the final box when it ships. First off is obviously the figure itself. Then there's what they're describing as her bow, which is obviously the front of the car as well. Then we've got two alternate chest pieces. Yes, as I predicted, it does seem like she'll come with two sets of them. And from the image here, it looks like that she'll have one pair that's glossy and one that's matte. So I guess depending whether you want Nicey to have shiny boobs or not shiny boobs, you have the option for both. Item 4 they forgot to list on the side, but it's clearly the fin from her car mode, which is also on her shield in robot mode. Item 5 is a shield part, so I guess if you don't like the fin, you can opt to put in this kind of cap instead. And likewise she obviously comes with her shield, which forms the back of the car mode. You also get one arrow which you'll obviously use to pose her with the bow. But you only get one arrow, even though the previous concept art pictured her with two arrows. But it's not a big deal. She's not like Hawkeye or something. You also only get one sword when, again, we've seen her in her concept art and even in gray prototype pictured with two swords. But again, it's not a huge deal to me. I'll probably display her with her sword and shield anyways. But it's unfortunate that those who were hoping to have her dual wield swords, like RDWRC, will be unable to. Likewise, she apparently only comes with one gun as well. Again, it's unfortunate that she doesn't come with two guns. And I don't think they've yet shown if she can store her gun in her hip, Robocop style, like they showed in the original concept art. And finally, she will come with a range of alternate hands. First is a pair of closed fists, then a pair of open hands, a pair of holding hands, which look to be specifically sculpted for the gun, and finally, another slightly open left hand, and a right hand that appears to be giving a thumbs up? But if we go back and look at the first image we looked at in this video, 
it looks like that these are the hands that she is equipped with. The thumbs up hand is actually her sword holding hand, and I guess the other one is meant for her shield. Although if her shield attaches to her forearm, why does she need another open hand specific to the shield? I don't know, but it does look like this is why they only give you one sword, because she can only hold it in one hand. It's disappointing that you don't have the option to choose whether she's right handed or left handed. She also comes with two alternate heads. One is just a normal neutral expression, and the other one is an open mouth expression. But did you notice what's missing here? Yes, unfortunately, it looks like Nicey will not be coming with her original RC inspired head sculpt. Big Firebird Toys didn't really explain exactly why they couldn't include it, but if you've been following what's going on recently in third party news, you can guess that it's probably something to do with Hasbro cracking down on third parties in China recently. Presumably, Big Firebird Toys won't be including the very RC looking head out of fear that they'll get nailed by Hasbro. I kind of hope that they'll sneak it in and just don't declare it on the box, but I wouldn't get my hopes up too much. So that is the news for Big Firebird Toys Nicey. I did pre-order one, so I'm hoping that I'll get mine soon after she's released, and then I can finally do an in-hand review for you guys. But until then, let me know what you think of this latest news. Are you disappointed by the lack of the RC style head? Will you be picking one up yourself? As always, let me know down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and do all that other fun stuff. And stay tuned for more Transformers, or in this case, not Transformers related news.